What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm back with another episode of Foolery Times 10. Y'all got to be in for this one. Vivica A. Fox. Of course, y'all know that little show got canceled. The, something with cocktails. Selena Johnson announces the ending of Cocktails with Queens. June 12th. It's with a sad heart to tell you that our reign is over until next time. But our friendship is not. We still love each other. We're still going to be great friends. Um... You know, as always, of course. But Cocktails with the Queens is now done. It has run its course. We, I know it's terrible. Our last show. Hey, don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. Vivica Fox came up with this show, I guess. I don't know what she's doing with Kendra G. I don't know what's going on with this. But they were trying to talk about some stuff. But they can't even get past talking to one another and getting in their feelings. And, and Kendra G is trying to hold them accountable. And I have to give it to her. I will give Kendra G her props on this. She held these women accountable and they didn't like it. So this is where we at, people. Hold on and watch this mess. But before we do it, y'all know what to do. Hit that like, share, subscribe. And hit that notification bell to get what? The next video. So no further ado, let's get it, my people. Let's go. Oh man, this food's so good. I, I you know, I, I don't know. I might have to I might have to get rid of my starting fat. That's oh, what wow. he said to me. Now watch this. I said, I know that's right. I might have to bench mine too. I have chosen okay. not to allow someone in my space because my business and everything that I have built well, that's is more important. important to me than being out here hanging out with these raggedy ass that's you know, that's, that's not me, that's, 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 that's you, you. But, but that's you though, but that's you why though. Why you to I don't attract raggedy men. Raggedy men. You just said raggedy men. I said I choose not to be with someone yeah. who doesn't yeah. date with things like Okay, now look at, now look at this. This woman that's going at it with Kendra G. I don't know who this one. Kendra G is the one with the gold with all the hair. The one with the short hair that look older. She's only 49. And Kendra G is 45. So she looks so much older than everybody else out there. But anyway, you heard what she said. She don't want to be out there, blah, 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 all these raggedy A men. They had to bleep it out. And what's going on, Kendra G say, well, you shouldn't be dating raggedy A men. And then she tried to come back. Well, I ain't dating. She said, well, you said it. And then she's going to try to attack Kendra G. And then check out what Kendra G tell her. I don't attract raggedy men. You I, don't don't raggedy raggedy men. I, I choose not to be with someone who doesn't date what they What's the difference Then be with a good man. You be with a good man. You be with a good man. Very casual dating. Then be with a good man. You be with a good man. You be with a good man. Now, be mindful when you say something that you've been married for 16 years. Okay, she's been married for 16 years. You cannot identify and empathize with what it's like to be someone okay, so, like me okay, that's, not fair. that's 49, that's not fair never married. Fair. You understand what I'm saying? No, but, Single no, you're telling me and no what children. I, what I'm just I saying, know. so I'm saying be mindful. I said be mindful. I said right. be mindful. But, but yeah. then, now, see, th this is where all this is going. Now you're trying to compare your life with my life. Your life is not mine. Now the 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 young, the younger, well, I ain't say young, but the 49-year-old that look older trying to give that karma uh, a warning to this other lady. She's been married. She's been married by 16 years. So she's trying to give her that warning. Basically, don't say too much yet because it could happen to you and you could be single out here. So that's that little warning, like, be careful what you're saying and what you're doing, blah, 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 because you don't empathize and all this. Nobody told you to be 49 years old, single. That's not dating. Unmarried, no kids. For 40, you 49. And you talking about dating out here. And you look older than 49. So it's going to be hard for you. And you're about seven feet tall. The lady is super tall. So she's not going to be in the same situation as some of these women that's sitting out there. But she is bitter as I don't know what. But this is what we're talking about when you wait too long to try to find someone 
I don't care how much money you done made, your business or whatsoever. It has nothing to do with finding someone. You waited too long. You done got set in your ways. Things a little different now out here. Dudes are dating differently. They're not taking on older women. They're not taking on women with kids. They're not trying to get bogged down, especially the older guys, because most of them already been married. They either divorced, separated, or whatever. They're not trying to get, they're trying to just live this life now, because they've been married 10 or 12, 15 to 20 years almost. So they're trying to get out and just enjoy the rest of their life. And she's now, you caught up in this. I mean, it is what it is, but let's keep going, because this shit is ratchet. But I'm just saying, he so. does count. Who's the dog? Listen, a lot of times women appreciate this and gay men appreciate it. Straight men don't always want to hear about your makeup because it gets on their clothes. Your wig might sneak. You don't want to sleep in the bed with you because your hair smells bad. Like, all that stuff doesn't always turn on straight men. And this is the point. Well, not gay men neither. I don't think it's well, fair to Well, because gay men ain't sleeping with you in the bed. So all they got to do is see, yes, girl, so yes. we shouldn't even mention it. Now, look how those women are looking at Kendra. They're looking at her like, how dare you? But see, she's telling the truth. Like she said, men don't wake up with all this going on or whatever. We are what we are. But you, you can wake up one way and come out the house another way. And that's what Kendra trying to tell them. And see, they don't want to have that conversation. So they looking at her all crazy and Kendra trying to tell them. And then at the end, the young lady going to try to, you know, try to hit her with that jam. Like, why are you talking about, well, why you even bring up the, the gay people? She was using examples. Y'all in y'all freaking 40s up here sound like y'all in y'all early 20s. I mean 21, 22. Y'all talking over each other. Y'all y'all getting in your feelings real quick because you got your personal stuff all involved in the conversation. And this is why you can't get out what you need. Nobody's moderating. Vivica just standing there. She's not moderating, trying to, I mean, not moderating. And, and trying to stop and get control. She's just letting it go. You know, just get this, let's get it rolling. But I tell you what, if they don't have Kendra on this show and she continue to talk the way she talked, this show is going to fail. Because nobody, and people are tired of telling women, you know, people are tired of seeing y'all tell women, oh yeah, it's okay to do this, okay to be that, it's okay to be 900 pounds, okay, it's okay to sit there and put all... Uh, a two years worth of makeup on your face. You ain't got to wash it off. You know, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And it's killing y'all out here. That's why this woman, 49 years old, mad because she can't get nothing but these raggedy amen. That's all want somebody that probably look and act like her. But there's more. That's more. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. The truth is, so people, that's why I people, say I don't people, it in, and I'm no, like, no, 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 but people are, I'm like, no, no, I'm not no, on it. People are showing you who they are, but you're not believing them. Sometimes so, they so, don't. So, so, and that's so you, quick. though. Yeah, I sometimes they don't do that. What is casual? Like, we say you don't do casual dates. So when I first meet you, that day we have to be in a relationship? I date with intent. So okay, that's fine. if your mind that. is not in alignment with I want, I am, not necessarily they, they want to be in a relationship with me, him, but I want to be in a relationship, I with that. then I don't, I don't want, I'm not doing get that. get rid of him and go to the next Yeah, person. but most of these men don't date with intent. It's a minute that's you want to, oh, no, 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 I want to jump in because, well, first of all, I feel like yeah. that's okay. you want a man, like, describe the type of man that you desire. I'm assuming he wanted to be tall, correct, because you're tall, which is a fair request because you're tall. I'm assuming you want him to have money, right? I mean, that's... Who is this woman? Come on, sister. You 48 short haircut. That is what I'm saying. Because that's relative when you say yes. money. That's relative. So. That type of guy, I, I highly doubt it. there's like no woman on this earth that he's just sitting in a box and waiting for, oh, Chanel, I woke up today. But and you now, can be dating Let with me finish intent, talking. Though. You can date with a tent. But I can date, you can date three people with intent. I'm not saying have sex with him. So you shouldn't have sex until you are in agreement. I don't agree with what that. we're I doing. That's like well, that's why you see dating. Dating. you're not going to be for 10 years. No, you can be single for 10 years. You can be single for 10 years, honey. But I always got a man, boo. Kendra, hurry up and check that shit. She's like, nah, nah, boo. I got a, I got a man. You... 
<laughs> but I don't know. These ladies don't know each other. They come on the show. Y'all don't do nothing on each other. Don't know anything about each other. Everybody know Kendra got her a man for the last two years. She found her a man in the last two years. She ain't married, but she been dating somebody serious for the last two years. So kid was quick to correct that shit. Check it out. Darling, that's my choice. No, it's, it's not, not your choice. choice. It's not, I'm not forced it's not into your a situation choice, though, because you have, said I what you make, wanted. Though. No, I can make my decision as to whether I want to date, and I have chosen. Oh, darling, I, that's my choice. No, it's, it's not, not your choice. choice. That's not, I'm not forced it's not into your a choice, though, because you said what you make, wanted. No, though. I can make my decision as to whether I want to date, and I have chosen okay. not to allow someone in my space so, because my business and everything that I have built well, that's is most more important to me than being out here hanging out with these raggedy ass. You my know man ain't saying. raggedy though. You know what I'm saying? That's you though. That's, that's not me though. That's you. But that's you though. But that's you though. I don't attract raggedy men because I'm not raggedy men. I said I choose not to be with someone who doesn't date with a good man. What's the difference between you? Then be with a good man. You be with a good man. You be with a good man. You be with a good man. I don't attract raggedy men because I don't attract raggedy men. I said I choose not to be with someone who doesn't date with a good man. What's the difference between you? Be with a good man. You be with a good man. Very casual dating. And, you know, uh, you, you okay, so this is the part I want to go back to and uh, what Kendra was explaining about the makeup stuff. And she broke it down. These women, they know she's right, but they don't want to say it. And I had to give it to Kendra. She sounded just like, you know who? The Godfather. She sounded just like Kevin Samuels. You're about to be Kendra Samuels in a little bit. But her points is hitting. I guess having her show has made her realize a lot of things that she didn't think about when she was younger or when she first started the show because she was a little green. She ain't the same Kendra when she started, you know. But check this out. We're going to finish this out. Up like this. This is hair, lashes, makeup. Took two hours before I could see her right there. This is a different person than the person I woke up as. But this person is like, oh, she will attract a different guy. Would that same guy want me if I didn't have this wig on, if I didn't have this makeup on? And that's the guy that that's really... Harder. And that, But that's the guy that matters because that's the substance piece. Women, we get the luxury to walk around like Halloween every single day. Let's keep it real. It's not Halloween. It is. It's Halloween every <laughs> single day over here. Men can't it do that. For Men me. can't get taller. <laughs> All they can do is increase their money. And that's pretty much it. Like... You in peace to the God for to be successful to get a certain type of woman. So that's why I feel like it's harder for men. But this is where the challenge comes for women. Women sometimes forget that you are in a Halloween costume. This is not how you woke up. So a guy might say, well, I want to see how you wake up in the morning. Do I still like you? But Can you not have that right? Because guess what? As a man, as any person, as a human being, you should be wanting to have... Um, a successful career. You should be wanting to be someone that is successful and making money or whatever the case may be. It doesn't have to be zillions of dollars, but you should be, you should want that for your life anyway, right? Well, so that's, that's, that's not, you don't get credit for stuff you're supposed to already be doing. You see what I'm saying? So for us, we shouldn't have to dress up like Halloween to get a man. We should be able to walk that. and be whatever in fresh but face. We, but they can be, they can be what they can do. Then why not do it? Why well, you ain't do it? Because this is what part of the job. That's what I'm saying. I'm so not hating hard. the game. I understand the game. I don't hate the game. But that don't mean it's not hard. And it's but hard. Also, but and also, this is, I'm me at all times. I, like, that's why I could talk about it comfortably because I don't sit here and I know what it is. And we're girls. Right. We like to do this, but it's still a lot. Right, it is a lot. But what I'm saying is sometimes this is more so... I, I'm keeping now. Y'all, y'all get mad at everything I say. I mad, but girl, I, I, I say a lot of times <laughs> women appreciate this and gay men appreciate it. Straight men don't always want to hear about your makeup because it gets on their clothes. Your wig might sneak. You don't want to sleep in the bed with you because your hair smells bad. Like all that stuff doesn't always turn on. Oh, look at Vivica. Straight men don't always want to hear about your makeup because it gets on their clothes. Your wig might sneak. You don't want to sleep in the bed with you because your hair smells bad. Like, all that stuff doesn't always turn on straight men. And this is the one. Not gay men neither. I don't think it's well, fair to Well, because gay men ain't sleeping with you in the bed. So all they got to do is see, yes, girl, So then yes, we shouldn't even bigger. mention them. But what I'm saying is the type of people that really do love our turn. All right, guys. So here we go. So... Hit me in the comments, man. What do y'all think? Y'all think this show is going to make? It's called Crowns or something like that. If you see at the top, do you think it's going to make it? If they don't have somebody to hold them accountable, I don't think it's going to be worth nothing. It'll be another show where they just telling women what they want to hear, and it'll be a lot of BS. That's all. 
you got to put something in there. So if Kendra G is not on there, probably ain't going to make it. And she may not want to be because she got her own thing going on. I don't know why she would want to be on this. Because she got her own thing going on, and she don't need them. But shout out to her for holding these women accountable. Uh, to her show, uh, Kendra G Singles, or Singles with Kendra G, I think that's what it is. But either way, your boy got to get up out of here. So y'all know what to do on your way out. Hit that notification and hit that subscribe. And y'all know, as always, as always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Peace.